Where's my mom? Um, hmm. She, uh, I don't know. She left pretty early this morning when I was getting up. And she came home pretty late last night, too. You know, I haven't seen much of her in the last few days. Hey, she's doing well. We just gotta trust her and give her some space. Whatever. As long as she's not gonna relapse and go into her old ways. Because I cannot deal with that anymore. I'm sure she's doing fine. And who might that be? No one. Just this guy I met at Valley Records. Hmm, doesn't seem like no one to me. Who, who is it? He's this artist named Arshan. He's new at Valley Records. The executive introduced me to him and said that I'm gonna be where he's at in a year. He's really nice. And he offered to help me out and show me the ropes too. Sounds like a pretty nice guy. I just want you to be careful. Don't go diving in head first before you know what's in the water below. But this is my chance. I can feel it, Uncle Joe. Arshan said that hanging out with him is gonna help out my career too. And the executive said that I have talent and he sees me going places. I just don't want you to get hurt or completely lose focus on your schoolwork. Now I know your singing is important to you and you're about as talented as they come, but Education, that's important too. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. I promise. Okay. Well, you finish up your breakfast or you're gonna be late for school. Bye, Mom. Are you gonna have some breakfast with me, though? No, I'm good. Thanks, so. Wait, this uh, man with you. Oh, it's from Dad. Oh, he even sent a picture. That's a pretty big crowd. This must be one of his shows. Looks like a good crowd. He's probably doing well. What show is this? That's that's just some of my internship applications. It's not too late to go to medical school. Mom, not again, please. I'm serious, Chris. It's gonna be good for you. I know it's gonna take a long time, but once you graduate and finish your residency, you'll be set for life. Look, I already told you, I don't want to be a doctor, Mom. Your uncle didn't spend a fortune putting you through private school for you to waste your time in film school. Why are you so stubbornly set on this? Why are you so against it? I mean, look, there's nothing that says that I can't make it. Look at Dad. He followed his dreams and he's doing just fine. Your uncle called last night. The cousin Kevin is home from New Haven for a week. I asked him to visit for a couple of days. Yeah, the one in business school? Wait, the one that I haven't seen in years, Mom? He's in law school. He's been busy. He's doing really well. He's going to graduate this summer. Uncle Jeffrey told me he's already got a job offer from a firm in New York. It's not going to work, Mom. What? You trying to use Kevin to talk me out of film school. Maybe he can talk some sense into you. But God knows, you, you don't listen to me. Yeah, okay, well tell him to save it for his clients. Oh, and you know, the way that you talk about Kevin, it's a wonder who's really your son.
Hey, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just midterms are really hard. But midterms were two weeks ago. And Professor Sanders gives two midterms. He sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought freshman year was supposed to be easy. Yeah, me too. But it's only gonna get harder. <laughs> wow. Maybe you should take a little break, you know, so you won't psych yourself yeah, out. I wish I could, but I really have to ace all my classes. Wow. I didn't make you out to be a heavy-duty straight-A student. <laughs> yeah, not really, but my dad is just really strict about my grades. Parental pressure. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. What about your mom? Yeah, my, my mom, uh, she passed away when I was young. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's, it's okay. I guess that's why I study so hard. <laughs> she always wanted the best for me. I, I just don't want to let her down, you know? That's amazing. You're doing good. I know she's proud. <laughs> Thanks. I try. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. What class is that for? Hey, I saw your campaign bid. I didn't know students did that. What, no comeback? No comment about how corny or lame I am? No joke about how I'm gonna need an apple box to see out over the podiums during the debates? Huh? Hey, you okay? Sorry, I was just thinking about the campaign. You're all right. You don't look too good. It's probably the weather. I'm I mean, fine. cold. Are you sure? Oh. I mean, it's totally cool to get nervous when you're going against me I'm in the fine. debates. And me, nervous. I'm going to mop the floor with you. Oh, really? Really? Well, if you still plan on being at the debate, then you should have got that application into Rachel at about, uh... <clears throat> ooh, five minutes ago. Oh my gosh. Need some help? No. Hey, cool, okay. Let me know if you need some help. Oh, hey, Emily! I think you forgot something. If we allocate the budget here, it seems we'll make our fiscal goal. Sounds good, Jacob. It's exactly what I like to hear. I knew it was, Mr. Sunderland. Also, one more thing about your son, James. It seems he has yet to make his balance for his classes at Stanford. What are you talking about? He already started school. Uh, yes, sir. I called the university, and it seems they don't have a statement for him on file. I think it's a glitch in the system. Yeah, maybe. I'll talk to him. Will he be joining you at the company party this weekend? No, he's spending the weekend at our family cabin in Big Sur with a special lady friend. I introduced him to a young lady a couple weeks ago at lunch. Seems to be pushing forward. It seems it is. Enjoy your day, sir. Hello, Caleb. Hi, Jacob. You wanted to speak with me, Dad? Hey, son. How's everything? Pretty good. It's good to hear. 
I called you in because I'm having a bit of a problem convincing your brother on the Alhambra expansion. He seems to be very outspoken against it. What does that have to do with me? Is there any way that you could talk to him? You know, convince him of the benefits of the project. I believe he would take it a lot better hearing it from his younger brother. Sure. Of course, Dad, anything for you. That's my boy. This project can really boost this company. We even have a family interview with Prime Television to announce the big news. Well, I really need James on board. Uh, okay. I I'll talk to him. Who are you? Where's Andres? Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm filling in for Andres. He's on vacation. Really? Yeah. Did he say where he was going? Did he go with anyone specifically? He didn't say. Just some guy he met at school. <laughs> so adorable. At school? What school? Hill State University. Hill State University. Settle down, settle down, they tell me You've got nothing but time